Gustavo Neri with AB Boxing News, sponsored by RX Water. We're here with heavyweight contender Andy Ruiz. Andy, black on black, black on black, Mexicano, Mexicano, Mexican to Mexican. How's everything, Andy? Everything's good, you know, everything's falling into place. Everything's really good, you know. Happy to be here in New York City. Never been here, now it's my favorite city. But, you know, we're, we're excited. In life, like they say there's, there's always obstacles to get to that main goal. When I seen you in your last interview, I seen like this, right? This seat blocking titles behind you. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at that. Right behind know, you. It's just I've seen it's them like right steps there. away. You know what I mean? Steps away. You know, as long as we stick to the game plan and, um, you know, we've been training really hard for this fight. I just got done fighting um, April 20th. Right. So so I feel good. I feel motivated and, and mentally in my heart. We, we know we're going to pull out this upset. There you, go. you mentioned about how you... Uh, Justin, now you got uh, Coach Manny Robles on your side. He's a world-class trainer. He's made a lot of great uh, world champions. Is that one of the main um, ingredients to your success come Saturday night? Um, of course. You know, uh, ever since I've been with him, my, my style has been improving, um, throwing my combinations, moving the head a little bit more. Yeah, we're working on the weight, but I didn't want to drop too much weight for this fight because I'm going to fight someone that's big. So I want to have that, that power to, to carry him and, and to knock him out. It's crazy how around two or three years ago, you was in one side of the pond, and then recently you went with PVC. Now you're, you know, on this event just to get this fight. But how does it feel that life for you has just changed, like, re in, like retrospect, like, reverse, 183? So, yeah, like, uh, blink, of night, yeah. blink of an eye. Um, you know, it, it's blessed. You know, I give all glory to God. And um, thanking Al Heyman for getting me out of the contract with Top Rank because they weren't doing – they weren't really doing their jobs, you know, and Al Heyman had a big plans for me. And ever since I left top rank, so many blessings have been coming to me. So um, I'm really blessed. I'm really happy. And, you know, I'm ready to make history. Usually when we talk about the, the, the culture of Mexico, all the great Mexican champions, we think about guys from like maybe middleweight all the way below. And you're a heavyweight. So you have a lot of um, a, a great opportunity come Saturday night. You could become the first heavyweight championship of the world Mexicano. What's that feeling like when, when, you know, if all goes well for you and the new world champion, you know, heavyweight championship in the world to be Mexican? It's going to be amazing, you know. Words can't explain it. For all my raza, all my Mexicano people, it's going to mean everything, you know. And for me to be one of the legendaries and becoming the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world and being in the record, you know, it's going to... It's going to mean everything, not just for Mexico, but for my family, my kids, and, and their grandkids, and their kids. So they're all going to be taken care of. You hold the keys to maybe impeding or blocking the big fight between Joshua and Wilder. Wilder got rid of his, his job two weeks last week. You beat Joshua. It's like madness happens. Every, all the heavyweight moves pieces here and there. If, you're, you know, if that happens, I know there's a rematch in title, I'm assuming, right, with Joshua. If you pass Joshua the rematch... Would you, would you like to go through Wilder next, Fury, or, or what's your statement for all these heavyweights? Because we know that there's networks issues, the financial issues. Like, what would you like to say to all those heavyweights in terms of making those fight happen? You know what? If, when, if I win and when I win um, there's these titles, I'm willing to, to fight AJ again, Wilder, and I'm willing to um, give all the other heavyweights opportunities, you know? There's, there's a lot of heavyweights like me trying to get this opportunity, trying to... Um, you know, uh, get to their dreams, follow their dreams, and taking care of their families. So I'm willing to do that. And um, but you know what? First, I gotta get I gotta get these bells first before I start calling other people out. So June 1st, history's gonna be making. So tune in on Dan's. Lastly, where can we follow you, Terry? Before we let you go, follow me on Instagram, on IG. Andy underscore Destroyer13. You can see all the things that I be doing here in New York and after my fight and before the fight. Look me up, baby. Gustavo Neri, AB Boxing News, sponsored by RX Water, here with Andy Ruiz.